Hi, first of all, the two files that are shown in this tutorial um, are available to download. If you just go into the description of this video, you'll see the link to download them if you're interested. So, putting Flash into PowerPoint is nothing new, it's been done a hundred times before. Um, so, what I wanted to do was just add a Flash file to a PowerPoint slide to do something that's a bit more than just animation, which actually PowerPoint can do pretty admirably on its own. Um, so, in this example, I've added an interactive network diagram that you can create, save and then show and manipulate in real time. So um, to see it and to manipulate it you need to go into show mode in PowerPoint and on the second slide this is it. So the first thing this um, this sort of help screen comes up uh, first time won't come up again once you've created your diagram but the idea is this is just the network diagram it's less around the content more around the concept but I've created these icons and I want to create a diagram because I'm going to go and present something that's technically orientated. So uh, first of all you can drag and click and drop and you can move these around and then you can go and add content. So I can drag another icon and what I can do is connect these two together by simply clicking this icon and then the two items I've added and once they've added you can see I can move it around and then I can add other content. So I'll create two of these I'll add a router and then I'll connect that to that and then that to that and then that to that and I may want to add a description of something so that could be a description of sorts and I could explain what that is okay so you can see quite quickly you can build these things up and move them around um, and then you can just keep building what the technical diagram you're going to be is. Uh, if I add something and I don't actually want it, you simply drag it off the circle and it will disappear. Okay. So once you've done all that, um, you can add some text if you want to. This is where in Flash um, usually these things are hard coded so you can't save them. Well, you can. So you can use a what's called a shared object. So I can just go and add some text. Let's go and say anything and see the little icon you can use to drag it around and you can click it, drag it and do what you want. And if you want to hide all these additional icons, you just hit the little I icon and it disappears. So once you've created that in Flash, um, what you can do is actually save it. So if you click save, and this will allow you to save it into um, a Flash object on your computer and you click allow. And then if you clear down out of PowerPoint, it will close that down completely. Now, if I go to mm, present this in reality with an audience, I can again go to my first slide. I want to go to my second one. There you'll see my diagram is created. And while I'm presenting, if somebody you know makes a comment and you want to add something, you can obviously do that um, in real time. So uh, it's just the idea of adding Flash to um, to PowerPoint to do something that's useful and obviously I can save and update it or if you want to completely um, sort of remove that content you can just hit the reset key and that is it so then the next time I'm ready to start again so it's just an idea about adding flash to PowerPoint making it interactive saving some parts making other parts uneditable anyway I hope the uh, the idea was useful <laughs> thanks